Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. So, my name is Amelia. My husband is Gary and our kids are Riley and Lorelai. Thank you for watching today. I'm so glad you guys are here. If you clicked on this video, then you know why we are here. We are getting rid of this mess. Okay, so I don't know. You can't really see it. Maybe if I turn the light off, you guys see better. But our house... Like, there's so much clutter. We can't find anything. Everything's just kind of thrown up somewhere. Like here, we've got stuff all over the floor. Sadie, what are you doing? Like, it's just all full of clutter. It drives me nuts, and we are gonna tackle that today. I may not show you everything that I do, because there's really no place to put it, but I will kind of show you and talk to you like my process of what I'm doing. The first thing I'm doing, step one for me, is I'm getting rid of everything that we haven't used in this last year. Which means all of the dishes up there, some of the dishes up there, the coffee thing, clearing this thing out here, let's see, and then I'm going to clear all this out I and mean, get rid of the stuff we're not using. Actually, we are using these. We just defrosted the free freezer and we refilled, so we kind of ate it out and we got it emptied out. So yesterday we defrosted and then yesterday I also went grocery shopping, got a bunch of meat and my husband has already put some of the meat back in there. So we kind of did a deep clean of that. So we're working on getting all the meats back in there and those containers go in the freezer with the meat so it's kind of more organized so we have we'll have hamburger roast roast chicken and then chicken legs chicken breast ham and then steak um, miscellaneous freezer stuff in there so forth so we're kind of getting that organized those were in there and they help it greatly because when we opened it in the past stuff would just come out so having a bin in there those bins work perfectly to separate out. So that's what my plan is to do is I may not buy a bunch of new bins. I use the bins that I have already, kind of get everything organized and see if I actually need more or if I want more and kind of organize because this is chaos. And I really believe that it is part of the reason why I'm so frustrated a lot of the time. And like, seriously, there's a fan. Okay, we're a family of four. We used every single one of these plates. Okay, I don't know if you can see them. Every single one. There's probably like at least 12 here yesterday. And I figure if we can get rid of everything except four of everything, because there's four of us, we use paper plates when friends, are, friends or family are here. And hopefully <laughs> we won't have dishes piling up. We won't have the things going missing. Like, I literally just went and bought something brand new because I couldn't find it. I opened it and my, my daughter's like, oh, look what I have. So now we have two open peanut butters. One. And two. Like, really. We have two things of peanut butter that we're not going to eat in a whole month, but we have two open peanut butters. And I'm getting tired of wasting money on a bunch of stuff like that. So step one process um, is actually getting rid of everything that we haven't used that is clean and in the cupboards. So that's my first step. So I'm going to get rid of everything that we haven't used that's clean. Because it's not dirty, it needs to be washed. And then I'm going to do the dishes and put them up. Where they go, hold on, Gary's putting up the pool. Midnight, Sadie, come inside. Gary's putting up the pool over there for the kids. Come on, inside, inside. And so these two have to go in their kennel because they can't go outside because we don't want them walking on the pool. Get in there. They still have claws. Yes, dogs have claws. So they can go out into the big kennel out there in the big kennel. So that's where they're going. So, step one, <laughs> get prepared. Step two, clean out everything in the cupboards that hasn't been used. So, 
I'll show you that here. Well, I'm not going to show you it because I have nowhere to set the camera, but we'll talk about that. So as I'm doing this, I'm thinking about which ones are the more practical plates to have because we have three different sets and I bought these because of the pattern. It reminded me of my grandma, but they're so not functional in our house. We use the microwave daily and we can't put these in the microwave. So when my kids, they'll get a plate, oh crap, it can't go in the microwave. So then they'll dirty another plate and put that on them and that one in the microwave. So getting rid of these extra plates is going to get rid of not only clutter, but extra work in our house. So I just got rid of... guys we're only a family of four and how does that get dirty in one day I have no idea but so I'm getting rid of those plates I'm also getting rid of this plate let's see so we use this water bottle okay, so we don't use this water bottle we get rid of this water bottle all of those lids we use for our containers and they're all up there they're all there I decluttered that a couple of weeks ago because I'm like, why do we even have these lids when we don't even use them? So those do, those have been decluttered later, I mean earlier in the year. So I got to get Gary to help get those things from that corner up or down. So I inquired some help, which is great because they really need the help. <laughs> She's helping me. She's going to bring it down to me. All these little teacups, what are they for? We've had them for a year. Seriously, what are these little things for? We've had them for a year. We've never used them. Teacups? Tea, probably. Yes, they're teacups. They use for tea. But why do we have them? We don't use them. Yeah, I guess. plates that the tea cups goes on. What do you use them for? Nothing. They just kind of sit in your cupboard and collect dust. I want to see if I can find some bowls this size at Walmart. If I can't, we'll just keep these size. So I like these. We use those. We can't use them for the microwave, so. The Facebook you wash and need. I know, but these are these the size. Mm. Billy, you're all grown and up. And again, 
These little bowls? You can't put nothing in it. Literally. What? I'm bowls. recording. What do you need? Nothing. You said little bowls. Go get more boxes. Yeah. Okay. You want the big plates now? Yes, give me the big plates. Actually, we'll put the big plates in first. I'm going to give them one at a time. That's fine. Or sometimes. What are those right there? Give me here. Those are smaller plates. All right, well, give me the smaller plates. <laughs> it's stick on this. Okay, then just give me some of the little ones. Okay. So you can put the little ones. We, this is one size, and there's another size on top. Okay. Uh, oh, I had a. That's fine. Pick it are up. Are they all gone? Are they all done? Yep. Yeah. Do you want the big plates? Huh? Do you want the big, big plates, plates now? Yes. Free plates are great being heavy. So we've got a box of big plates, small plates, coffee cups, or tea cups, cough, this whole thing. And this box. Probably gonna transfer this box. And that's just after the first pass, y'all. Plus, we have three more boxes in storage in our bedroom somewhere. Of the exact same pattern and plates. So, needless to say, they're going bye bye. Alright, this cabinet is next. And remember, all y'all, this is just the first pass. So, we did from here to here. And down here, I forgot to show you down there. But yeah, we really did down there too. Um, I forgot to show you, but you know what? It is decluttered. And look at, we have four empty things, except that's going to be for towels. They're all dirty. And so that's, um, and then we're going to put Tupperware in those. I bought those, oh, um, initially so they would snack, stack, and one would come out and, um, be able to get to them easier, but it didn't work. But it does work here, and these do come out. So they slide out so you can get to what they need easier. Oh, let's see. So they can slide out when you need them. So this is just what I did first. I do need to do <laughs> this drawer, getting rid of all these knives, and only having four of each thing in here too. And I'm getting rid of all of our vitamins and medicines that we're not using. And this is supposed to be a cup place, 
but I mean, it just gets thrown up there. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take these down, everything down, and then redo it. And it's all clean at night before I go to bed. Doesn't that look amazing? I'm so excited. This is so gonna work. I'm so happy. Okay, there's one pot that's not clean, but my husband's gonna do that because there's stuff stuck on it and he kind of did that, but they, that's a whole other story. But my kitchen is clean for once before I go to bed. I'm so excited, y'all. Now, y'all, this was the first step and I forgot to tell you, I didn't do a step. I realized I didn't wipe the shelves down, so I took everything off the shelf, wiped it, and then put it back. So now they're clean inside because they weren't all clean inside. See? Nice and pretty. I did up going to the store. I was at Walmart. And those are our dishes that can go in the microwave. And there is one for each of us. And I saw these bowls. So I was able to put the bowls in with the set and get four bowls. They were $2.50 a piece. So I spent $10 on that. But we will use these. And we have used these for the last two days. And they're amazing. They're the same pattern. They're microwave. They're good sellables. They're good. They're perfect. And they kind of match everything. So anyway... With that being said, we will see you tomorrow.